An excellent motion palpation technique for the lumbar spine can be performed with the client seated. This can be done for lateral flexion motions in the frontal plane, rotation motions in the transverse plane, and it can be done well for extension in the sagittal plane. The choice for where to have the client seated depends on logistically what you have. If you have a rolling stool, be careful that the stool is stable enough. We're going to perform this in a rolling stool, but I'll show this later, seated on a table. Okay, so we'll begin with lateral flexion motions. The client crosses the hands to the opposite shoulders in front. We are seated, kneeling behind the person. I'll use my thumb to contact on the same side of the spinous process. I'll stabilize and hold the upper body of the client. And now just let me move you, okay? And I bring him into left lateral flexion. And at the end, I might add a little push to feel the play in the joint at this vertebral level. I drop down a segmental joint level. Bring him down again. Push in a little bit, come down, and I can just go from one level to the next, feeling for how well the spinous process moves through its range of motion when I laterally flex him, and at the end point of tension, what I feel when I press just a little bit. We then repeat this on the other side. And again, I've got your body weight here. You just let me move you. And now I'm on the right side of his spinous process. And I laterally flex him to the right. So we can assess bilaterally lateral flexions in the frontal plane. The contact position for motion palpation of the lumbar spine for both lateral flexions in the frontal plane as well as rotations in the transverse plane is to place the pad of the thumb on the side of the spinous process. Demonstrating this with lateral flexion to the right, if I laterally flex the client to the right, I feel for the excursion of the spinous process away from me. At the end of the range of motion, I may even choose to challenge the motion of the vertebral segment into joint play at the end of the passive range of motion and see if I feel for a healthy spring at the end of this motion.